this is someone I was at the hospital with, was, and he is you, smart. Jesus or God for answers to how fucked up my life was. Like, I was like, pretty much like, God, why is my life so fucked up? Why am I a fucked up person? Like, why do I get intrusive thoughts every single day? Why is it so hard to operate? And then God was like, well, you're mentally ill either way, so let's play around with this, and so I just became a willing host, like it says in the Bible, like, you know, the whole word of host thing and stuff, and like, literally, the words in the Bible can change right in front of my eyes. Hold on, so hold on, I want to write, hold on, I just need a pen. James. In the Old Testament, it says Lord of Hosts. Like, as in humans are the host. Yeah. King John. I'm going to look at that. I need a Bible. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So, you say that part, and I'm saying... I'm the resurrection. Like, when I went there, they literally tore out John 3.16 in the Bible and was making me think that I was, like, coming to save Earth. I was like, this is literally me. I was knocking on people's doors asking for help, and then I told people what I did, and then they were like, you're the resurrection. You were knocking on people's doors asking for help, and then that's how you know if you're going to heaven or hell hell, they were like, God's coming back, or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? I do, partially, I haven't gone along in with Revelation, I, I, to be honest, but every, okay. everyone that's going to church and stuff, they're always talking about the resurrection, or the, like, God's gonna come down to earth, you know what I'm saying? They always are, like, scared that the world's ending and God's coming to earth. Well, I thought the world was ending, but I was like, there is no God. And I was going around, like, trying to create world peace, trying to change people's minds. Yeah, you're pretty much on track. There's, I think it was not a for a reason. I don't know the reason exactly, but you saw how evil everybody gets. God didn't abandon us. He abandoned every... He didn't abandon us. Bruce isn't the one that gets out. He picked us. We're special. That's true. Okay. He picked us to change the world, to live the Bible. We're, we're reliving the Bible. I agree with you, but it, I've got to go. Um... I want to be a good time to call you back because I really want to talk to you again. Yeah, text me. What is your name again? It's Joshua. Okay, do you remember my name? Um, is it, is it the same from your YouTube channel? Yeah, Aubrey. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, I want to talk about, I want to talk more. Yeah, text me and let me know when you can talk. Um, well. I want to hear about I that. Would, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I literally have little to no life, which is why I kind of delved into mental Illness in the first place. What? Um, I have little to no life. Like, I have nothing to do except just do dishes and laundry and clean the house. Like, 
I wish I could do that. Yeah, I, I need someone to take care of me. You're lucky because I came back to the real world and now I don't have a job and I'm like, how am I going to keep a roof over my head and food in my stomach? I'm literally asking people for a dollar for Taco Bell and cigarettes off of people. I'm like, I don't have any money. I got a job though, but I haven't got paid yet. No, I still have my apartment. I just haven't paid rent from last month or this month. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. What did you say? There's multiple, I just want to hear that thing again. I want to write it down. You said there was multiple universes and were copies of each other, so overpopulation. Can you tell me what you said again? Uh, well, they are carbon copies of each other. Like, the Mandela effect is they want us to believe fake memories. But it sounds like you shouldn't be focusing on this stuff right now. Like, we have plenty of time to discuss these things. You should focus. Like, I, I don't know how old you are, but I'm only 24. I'm 21. So, but you are smart. So somehow, I'm smart, but I'm also very dumb. I'm distracted. They want you to be distracted. Uh-huh. That's what this work and money system is. It's all a distraction from the real world. That's why you thought you were what? The fourth horseman that brings the seeds upon the land. What is that from? It's from the Bible. Oh shit. Well, I have too much in my mind. That's why I was trying to make you two. Yeah, that's why I made YouTube videos, because I was like, I need to share this knowledge. I have all this knowledge. Yeah, you should make a YouTube channel. Let me say that um, I am, I'm going on disability, and I'm like... I'm trying to do that because I can't function in society. I said I'm trying to do that because it's hard for me to function in society. Like I can't keep a job, I can't do anything, so I'm trying to get on disability too. How'd you do that? Um, you have to first be diagnosed heavily and then you call in and you can make the information that they require and then Who did you call? Social services? Yeah, being there is like jail. You can't go out or do anything. You don't even see the real world. Yeah, that one was the worst. And they tried to make you be... They tried to fuck with you. They would literally fuck with you and make you angry so you would stay longer. Yeah, they did that. They did that to everyone. I was literally watching them and telling the nurse... The nurse was the best nurse ever. I actually got a job next to the, where the nurse lived. I didn't even know. She was like walking down the alley and I was like, yo, do I know you? What's up? Yeah, I like her. She's cool. She's like the only good person there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to visit Roanoke soon, 
and we'll hang out and I'll show you the yeah. I'll show you Yeah, I'm trying to meet your family and I'm trying to hang out and go to the waterfall and do some things, show you around Rono. Wait, do you drive? Yeah, I drive. It's scary. It, it, no, you had a traumatic experience, so it's scary to drive again, right? Well, I do have these moments where, like, when I'm riding in the car, it, it's from my right side because the person, I see them, them because they didn't look where they were going. And so it's from my right side. I don't get that little panicky feeling, but I only have PTSD from being, well, my childhood was kind of rough because of being poor, like, dirt, really dirt. Yeah, welcome to Roanoke. I feel like that's all of Roanoke, right? Well, we actually had to get out of Roanoke because there was somebody that really did not like my mom. Told her, like, her attorney told her, get the hell out of front of because somebody has been for you. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. Shit, like, like, shit has always happened to our family, and that's why, like, I instantly, like, your energy itself, like, I was just attracted to your energy. Yeah, even though, yeah, so, like, during my episode, I was literally trying to help every single person. I was trying to talk to people. I was trying to help them. I was like, these people don't have mental illnesses. They literally understand me and know what's going on. So I was trying to talk to people and get to the bottom of everything. Well, because the simple fact is, is that some people are just, just like sheep, like, in the Bible. They don't want to be woken up, like... Like a black sheep, or what kind of sheep? Like, some, some people want knowledge, some people want to live in ignorance, because, I hate to say it, but it is true that ignorance lives, because if you, if you only train yourself to make money, then you can actually be happy. Like, there are people who are happy being just dressed for the money. I don't want to that's, live that way. Me neither. That's, that's like my worst nightmare. We're not going to have to do that. We're going to change it. You I, should help me with my YouTube channel or make one. I, I do. It's called Supportive Vanguard. That's, that's my character. Type. Oh, yeah, you told me that. It's S U P. You should. You want me to spell it for you? Yeah, and you should start uploading more videos. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get that confidence back with time. It, I don't even. My mania to... Yeah, I'm just doing it real and raw. I don't even know how to edit videos. I'm just me recording either. them and uploading them. I need to learn how to take snippets out of the videos and then mush the video back together. I think you need software for that, like aside from YouTube. Maybe YouTube actually does have software for that, I'm not sure. Well, no one can tell me how to do it. Spell your YouTube uh, channel name. Okay, it's S-U-P-P-O-R-T-I-V-E. B-A-N-G-U-A-R-D. And I only have two videos up, but one of them is a stand-up where I 
like had a mental break, like um, not not a mental break, but a break from. I yeah, you were able to talk freely. Yes, that's that's what I was thinking. Yes, I was able to actually get my ideas out. So I decided to do it on stage for once. Yeah, it's V A N T U A R D. Spell the lap. Spell the second thing again. It's van and then what? Bart. Oh, G. G U A R D. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Supportive Vanguard. I just gave you a shout out. Yeah, start. You're on the you're on the wavelength. People need to wake up. You need to help people wake up. They're sleepy. It's time to wake them up. Wake up. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Now and when, though, because we don't want the the fabric of society to completely collapse because then that'd be counterintuitive to what we're trying to. Each person has their own wavelength that they want, but they, like, 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 when you see an obese person, and you know that they are unhealthy, they just don't have the drive to change it at that time. Gravity literally works against them, and getting off topic. I was trying no, to I know what you mean. Forward. That's how that's how it would be. They they don't want to be woken up. They want to stay sick and ill. Like just because you say this stuff, they'll, they'll just overlook it and won't wake up and help you. But it's real world stuff. It's actually happening to them. Yeah, it, I do agree that. It, Obama said, change is what we can believe in. I'm sorry? Obama said, change is what we can believe in. This world needs some change. Okay, so we definitely need to hang out then. Like, no, no joke. <laughs> yeah, I'll hang out with you. I'm trying to hang out too. I'm going there either... It's June? What is this month? June, okay, so I have a, a family reunion that I've never been to. They're Dunkards. I've never been there or met them, and I'm going to meet them this year. And I'm going to get baptized in the river because since I had this, like, wake-up call and I was in the hospital, I, like, believe in God or... I believe that the feds are the higher power, like the money system is what's in charge of us and they made us our robots and we're like in the sims, we're in the matrix. Like they literally did this to us so they can have control over us. Money doesn't grow on trees and I only, it's made out of trees, it's man made and man made us do this. Yeah, we agreed. We agreed to live this way. Who did it? Who did this to me? Who did this to us? I believe it comes down to regeneration. Yeah, we just teach it to our kids and we're like, yeah, this is a normal way of life. Here, go to school and then go to college and then work. Go to college just to be middle class and struggle to pay off your debt. Or you can just graduate and be poor and struggle and be homeless. That's literally how my life is right now. And I couldn't go to college because I had no money to go to college. Or be in debt. You can go to community college. Are you from Virginia? Yeah, I went to community college. But that's only two years. Then go to... Um, never mind. I, I was speaking up once. Oh, it was 
this for your school or something? It was only for your school or something? Your support system. Yes, exactly. Like, it isn't something that would be viable for you because of, you know, not being a part of my support system. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you miss your dog? How's that dog? Sentinence? What's that? It's the difference between a robot and you. What do you mean you gave that to him? I adopted him and rubbed off on him in my hand stage where he just became sentient. Like a human in dog form. It was weird. Oh, okay. A human in dog form, not a. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, you were talking to me about that, and then I was like, no, he just loves you. He's helping you, and you're like, oh, I thought he was broken. Do you remember that? No, no, honestly, I, I. You were like some. You were like something's wrong with my dog. He's broken. He like licks me when I'm crying or something like that. And I was like, yeah, because he loves you. He knows something's wrong with you. He can read your energy. Yeah, because we were on the same wavelength. I was trying to help you out. I was trying to hang with you. I almost gave you my car. I was like, fuck that car. You don't have one? Here, take mine. <laughs> no, don't get rid of your car. That's how you get around. I was like, I'm going to take my dad's car. I was like, that car, my dad's car is going to be mine, and you can have my car. It's a piece of crap. Take it. Even if it was a good car, I would give it to you because I want my dad's car so bad. That's my goal. I have a goal. It's to get that car. So you're the plan. Yeah, I'm trying to save the world and get my dad's Mustang. 64 and a half Mustang. Black with red interior. Convertible. That is my dream car. Yeah, I got it off Craigslist. It's a Toyota Corolla. I told you the year and the date and the color and everything. I was like, yeah, this car is yours. <laughs> yeah, I Yo, yeah, I was going to, I had a plan for that. I was going to come to Roanoke in my car and give it to you and take my dad's car. Well, keep your car, because, like, I... 
already have plans to get my own car. Don't worry about me, okay? I just have to exercise patience is all. I just have to be patient and wait my turn. I'm scared to wait my turn and be patient. What if the world ends while I'm waiting? For people to wake up. It's almost, we have like a couple. What do you think they are? What do you think the couple of ways the world can end are? Uh, they put a fallout in probably the most plausible one for everybody. Everybody thinks of that one. I think that the world actually will not end for at least another thousand years, I would say. I think it's only two years. Really? Yeah, I can tell. The world is dying. The earth is dying. There's too much pollution and people on this hill. We're going to live like this for another thousand years and not wake up? Imagine. I don't want grandchildren yeah, in this world. I'm talking about is people are waking up in different ways, though. And it's going to take a, a thousand or how long did you say years for that? I want this to happen in my lifetime. I'm trying to be someone that makes a difference. I'm trying to be known in history. They're going to be like, in 2019, Aubrey did this and changed the world. She started a movement, like Martin Luther King. I'm going to start doing speeches. I'm a, I don't know. Do you have that much confidence? What, talk in front of people? I'm doing it in the front of the computer. I don't see what the difference of talking in front of people is that I don't even know. Okay. Have you ever heard of QAnon? QNR. QAnon. Spell that? Q-N-O-N. No. Oh, wait, sorry. Q A N N O N. Q Anon, like an anonymous. Okay. I don't have any clothes. My dog just chewed up my good pair of shoes. What is QAnon? QAnon? Uh, it's something we shouldn't talk about right now. It's too advanced. It's something K hole. I'm trying to get in your K hole. It's funny. I love, I love the way you speak, by the way. Thanks. I'm a comedian. I try to be funny. If you're not trying to be funny, what are you trying to do? Make people depressed? No, kind of my humor by accident. Like, my, my humor is dark. Very, very dark and black. Yeah, it's still funny, though. But, I want to... Um, hey, wait. QAnon. If you look it up on your... on your computer, there's a thing called QMAN. It's basically a lot of that I don't know what you believe about President Trump, but apparently there is a movement that's working in conjunction with the President to create 
what you're the state of the cruelness of what people have done to basically well to assert their power over the world. Like you know all those conspiracy theories that you've heard about? Yeah. There's one that sums them up that is scariest. That they're sacrificial cults, basically, that control the world that they are fighting. I want to be sacrificed for these people's sins on the live stream. No. They are going to be put in prison for what they've done. I don't want to be put in prison. I want to be sacrificed. Okay, what I'm trying to say is these people, somebody, you know, okay, what happens inside the brain is adrenochrome is released from your pineal gland, and that's what it creates, it's, it's basically the god drug, uh, fucking, one sec, I gotta go ahead. Okay, so there's this thing called the pineal gland that I'm sure you've heard of. I have but not. It's Pardon? I have not. Wait, what? Seriously, you haven't heard of the pineal gland? No, pineal gland. It's in the front of your forehead. You know where they say the third eye is? Oh, and then you were telling me about those stupids when you hit yourself in the head. You said baseline stupids and where you hit yourself in the head in your third eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I, I rely too much on the pineal gland. Yeah, tell me uh, about it. I have until, pardon? It secretes what? And it makes you got a god drugs? Yeah, it's basically what they would describe as the god drug, where your pineal gland secretes um, adrenochrome. Or, no, it is. Sorry, it's hard for me to talk about it since I'm not in a mania, but, um, basically, it secretes adrenaline, not adrenochrome. Adrenaline, and then the adrenaline turns into adrenochrome when it's in your blood. It oxidizes, and then once that oxidation happens, it gets released into your brain again because of the blood flow to your brain. And that's what gets you semi-high. It's like, it's basically what... That's what it's mania. called. Yeah, that, and then you get into mania. And then they're saying, you're crazy, you're crazy. And I'm like, nah, bitch, I'm woke. Oh, this makes sense. Yeah. And then that's the third eye. Our third eyes are open. Y'all need to open your third eye. You need to wake up. That's why That's I what have happened. found that it's when I'm using my pineal gland too much, I break out right on my forehead. Like, you can actually tell when I've used it too much because I'm constantly trying to use it too much. Like, like using it when you're in a mania? Do you only use it when you're in yes. a mania? Or do you That's use it outside of mania? mania in the first place. So it happens, so you can use your third eye outside of a mania? And break out, or just... It always happens. It always happens, but it's different degrees. Like, when you're in a mania, that is when it's going balls to the wall, like, constantly going. Yeah, I was balls to the wall. 
I was balls deep in trying to save the world. Yeah, the, the way you described yourself in the video, I'm like, seriously, I was like, damn, she went balls to the wall, too. Like, no doubt. No <laughs> doubt I went balls to the wall. To the wall. Like, I, I had to stay grounded because... Oh, I was so, grounded. I was on a new grounded. I was trying to be in the ground. Stop chewing my... Is it your bedtime? No, I just have to stop and to roll to outside and get. Okay, oh, what time do you wake here. up? Uh, six in the morning. Yeah, how about you call me at like nine? Or I, I have work at eleven, so like eight o'clock. You want to talk at like eight in the morning? Okay, yeah, call me at 8 a.m. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to you. Likewise. Have a good night. Uh, Bye. Bye. Yo, we're getting to the bottom of this. Everyone that has a mental illness knows some shit is going down. I'm yelling timber. I ain't got a mental illness. My third eye woke the fuck up and they said, bitch, you're crazy. You're trying to save the world. Ain't nothing wrong with the world. Well, think again because the world needs some fucking help and I'm trying to help it in my lifetime. They're like, this isn't in my lifetime, not in my lifetime, not going to worry about it. And I'm like, it is in your lifetime. You're living it. You are living in this and you need to do something now. And chew on my fucking shoe again. Chew on my fucking shoe again. Now I have no summer. Oh, I should block you in the face. Always the personal sense. You like smelly feet? That's what I thought. Okay, let's go over what we need to study. Carbon cop, okay, the Old Testament and the King of John, Lord of Hosts. Carbon copies believe fake memories and copies of people. Copies of people, reincarnation. Seeing people remind you of people. Seeing people resemblance, resemblance. The fourth horseman that bring disease to land, that's in the Bible. And people are sheep, they're not woken up. Ignorance is bliss. Train yourself to make money and you'll be happy, is what he said. I can't. That's his worst nightmare. That's my fucking worst nightmare. Sentences, robot and human. He thought that was his dog. And I know what he's talking about, where your dog Sacrificial cult, the front of forehead, secretes adrenaline, which turns it to adrochrom, and then it goes in your blood, blah, blah, blah. Check him out, support of Vanguard. This is my homie in jail. This is my jail homie. Yeah, we're going to get to this shit. He is my homeboy. 
roll peace out.